All right, this is a video about how to uh, update the missed time punches for each payroll. Payroll occurs on the 16th and the 1st of each month. So on that day, uh, typically the day or two before, Sheila will send us uh, missed punches and show us just like this which facility it is. It doesn't really say the facility, so you have to know the employees. Um, what I will do then at that point is go into the back office, log in, and then go into employees time clock records and that brings up this screen uh, from that point I will actually refer to the email so Shane Howell has no punch on the 617 no out punch so 617 H O W is what we'll type choose our dates so 617 617 search and that shows that he does not have an out punch he's got an in punch at 4 53 p.m. and then to find out what he should have worked that day without having to contact all the supervisors that's why we have the calendars that are actually on the wall I'm at three springs now if I were at Russell Road I would actually refer to that I've got that on the wall over there as well uh, and the coordinators uh, are required to update that calendar as they make changes throughout the month because the only calendar that is active is the one at the front counter and then the copy is in the office for payroll purposes. So then we will go to shared docs. Well this computer is a lot my laptop in a section not used to being over at Three Springs. So in shared docs I will go to the facility coordinators folder and then go to um, the, uh, the schedules that, that actually, the place where we place the schedules and, and I would look up uh, schedules A. Now on this one I actually know because it's a weekday shift, 617 is a Wednesday, so I know he worked from five until nine that night. So then we'll go ahead and add. Put in, put in his name. So it shows Shane Howell. And he'll be a clock out on 617. 617. And that will be 09 p.m. And that is a Russellville Road. You have to choose the facility. Then we'll hit OK and confirm that this is actually on the right date, is showing in and out for that date. So in at 453, out at 9 o'clock, and he is complete. That, if you have any questions, give me a call on my cell phone anytime. Thanks. Oh, once I finish this, uh, this process, I'll actually respond back to Sheila and say time clocks are updated. That way we have a, a digital record of it being complete.